play the game wrong. This is chess. I'm not a pawn. They saying king me. Holla beep beep. When you see me on the TV, got me 3D up in the city. Hey dub, with a whole KCPD gon' have to see me. Hey, subscribe to the channel. It's King Me. You ever ask yourself, like, why is people so unhappy? I mean, really? Like, have you asked yourself that? Because, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I get like that. You know, I'm human. We're not robots. I mean, but, you know, what's the real reason behind it? You know, so let's watch this video, educational purpose video. Subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Yee! You want, what do you want? Malaria and death at 40? Obviously not. But then you think, okay, what's the price you pay for a high standard of living? Well, that's easy. You virtually always sacrifice the present for the future. You're always working. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys, you know, I mean, you know, you've, you're fairly influential and you've got this good thing going, but like, it could crash at a moment's notice. You better keep your eye on it. And, and, and every day you're thinking, okay, this has to be done and this has to be done and this has to be done. And it's so, it pays off. I mean, you have a nice studio and, and, and I would presume a reasonably comfortable life, mm -hmm. but it's not like you're not running on a treadmill to keep that going. And so that's, that's security and it's health, but it isn't necessarily happiness. And it's certainly not necessarily freedom from anxiety. And I would say, most people in the modern world, weirdly enough, have far too much to do. You know, two career families and a couple of kids. It's like, man, you're you're done. That's sixty hours a week of flat out work. Yeah. So, and that can be too much. And then I also think, because our society is philosophically unstable, and that's sort of reflected in this polarization, is that people are doubtful about whether their lives have any meaning. For example. You know, what's, why bother? What's the use of it? Who cares? It's like, what difference is going to make in a million years, you know? And that's, life is hard. And if you just have a nihilistic viewpoint, then it's easy to be swamped by doubts and, and existential angst and all of that. And, and like, I think that's a mistake because I think that your life, your life can be very meaningful. It's proportionate to the responsibility that you take on. And you can learn that by watching when you're engaged in the world, you know, and, and what works to sort of protect you from feelings of isolation and doom. Uh, you know, and a lot of the lectures I have on YouTube are about exactly that. Mm. So, so I think part of it is the complexity of the modern world. Yeah. I also can't shake the sneaking suspicion that it has something to do with our diet. Really? Well, you know, I saw this, we know that obesity is like skyrocket. Yeah. Okay. So, and probably the reason for that, it's not exactly certain. There might be complicated reasons for it, but certainly one of the reasons is that people eat far too many carbohydrates. Right. You know, I saw this video from World War II um, about about, and, and in in one of the scenes they showed all these men in New York lining up to be inducted, and it's like you know twenty blocks of guys with no shirts on. Mm -hmm standing in line to be abducted every single one of them was <laughs> bone thin do you every think, single do you one. think it's the insecurity and the negative feelings that come with being overweight or the actual no food? no no i think there's something wrong with what we're eating mm -hmm. interesting and, yeah i mean there's more and more evidence that dietary sensitivity for example is linked to conditions like schizophrenia really and so yes watch yes. out for that bread y'all well and also so your gut bacteria turns out which you have a lot of, you have about a hundred times more bacterial cells in your body than human cells, mm. which is really quite a freaky thing to think about. L luckily, they're quite tiny, because yes. otherwise you'd be like a giant amoeba, yes. you know. But 